2001 A Space Odyssey is a film that, despite being 50 years old, continues to challenge and mesmerize audiences. Being one of the most analyzed films ever made, you would think there'd be nothing more to discuss about it. However, every time you watch it, you seem to be coming away with more questions than you did the first time. Its structure, psychedelic visuals, and bold themes have elevated it to a status that really no other film has been able to reach. Similarly, the titular track from Pink Floyd's 1970 album, Adam Hart Mother, is one of the most ambitious pieces of music ever composed, by a band that has no shortage of ambitious music. While listening to Adam Hart Mother the other day, I couldn't help but notice how the flow of that song really matched the pacing, almost to a T, of the Jupiter and Beyond the Infinite section of 2001 A Space Odyssey. And though I'm not the only person to make this point, I just wanted to further illustrate that by focusing on three sections of the song, with three sections of Beyond the Infinite, what I'll refer to as Discovery of the Monolith, Journey Through the Stargate, and The Birth of the Star Child. Famously, another Pink Floyd song, Echoes, was actually speculated to be the original intended music for the Beyond the Infinite section, and although that was never officially proven, you can't help but see the flows that that song has with Beyond the Infinite. However, my intention with this video isn't to make an analysis of Adam Hart Mother, Echoes, or 2001. Just an illustration of showing how two unrelated pieces of art, such as Adam Hart Mother and 2001, can fit together so beautifully and create a work of art on its own.